Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Samux Code. And in this lecture, we're going to talk about how to implement JavaFX binding. So first, we will discuss what is JavaFX binding and what are the different types of binding found in JavaFX. So JavaFX property allows you to synchronize the value of two properties so that whenever one of the properties changes the value of another or other property is updated automatically so this means that if you have property a and you have property b whatever changes in property a will be reflected in property b and also whatever changes in the value of property b it will be reflected in the property a so that's where the types of binding comes in so we have the unidirectional binding and we also have the bidirectional binding okay so in this tutorial we will focus on unidirectional binding of properties so in the last tutorial we have created a project JavaFX properties and also in this particular project we have the main style that uh, fxml so we'll just try to open up this one with the fxml builder and we have these buttons so to subtract, uh, subtract and add value to the properties or the property and uh, the value will be reflected to this label at the top so we will be adding two controls here number one will be the progress bar and the second one will be progress indicator so let's just go ahead and, and add those elements so progress bar here and progress indicator okay so for now let's save this main style that fxml and go back to our eclipse and refresh right click on this and run as java application so we have here the progress bar and we also have the progress indicator. So what we're trying to do here is whenever we click on this add button, the progress bar will increment this or increment the value of this uh, progress indicator and progress bar. And in the same manner, whenever we click on this subtract button, the value of this progress bar and progress indicator will decrease let's go back to scene builder and try to set up our elements so the first one will be the progress indicator or the progress bar so the FX ID will be progress bar 1 and also the progress indicator will be progress indicator 1 or PI 1 the subtract button has the on action btn click minus and the add button has btn click plus on action event and our label has the id of value of number okay so we'll go back to our eclipse id after saving our main style.fxml so in our main controller we have we have already set up our methods for the addition and subtraction buttons so again if we click on the add button so the number or the property will be incremented by one and also when we try to click on this ptn click minus button so the value of the property will decrease by one okay so in here we could add the two elements that we have added in our fxml so fxml annotation and private progress bar pb1 the, the id that we have set in our fxml file and fxml yes 
try the progress indicator the I one and let's just import this two elements or two controls by importing their classes the next step is to bind our property number to this progress bar and progress indicator so pb1 will have we will have to set the progress property and bind the number number property okay and also for the other one the progress indicator so progress indicator progress property that my number that my property or my number property okay so save our main controller in that java and refresh our project then let's try to run the project once again okay so we have the subtract and add and the progress bar and progress indicator so let's try to add the value to our property okay so we have the the value of our, our progress indicator set to 100 percent and the progress indicator into done this is because we set the increment into one which is convertible into one per 100 percent to progress bar and progress indicator so in order for us to solve this we need to go back to our code and instead of one we need to make this 0 0.1 and also this one is 0 0.1 and let's try to run again our project but refresh first to reflect the changes and run as java application here we try to click on this add so the increment now is 10 percent of the total or total progress of the progress bar and progress indicator so so for example 60 and 50 40 30 and 50 percent 70 80 90 and 100 percent earlier we have mentioned that this is uh, unidirectional because uh, we can only set the value from our buttons Okay, what if we want to change the values using the progress bar and progress indicator? We could do that by using the bidirectional method of JavaFX binding. So I think that's it for this tutorial and in the next video we'll be talking about unidirectional or bidirectional. Thanks.